what is web 1.0 2.0 and 3.0 now this is an important evolution in the history of internet and has been an important concern in the last few years so what is web 1.0 this is mostly read only web very few user generated content mainly it is the published content by the uh, organizations and in 1996 uh, this was what was the predominant thing in the internet market and you had nearly 45 million global users however web 2.0 talks about read write web that means it is a user generated content okay it is a user generated content now since it is a user generated content you would have uh, a lot of publication now this is much more easier it has a participatory culture because the content you have forums blogs uh, content in the wikipedia being updated by the user so it is user generated content as we say and there is interportability of the users uh, from the end users as well so there is collective intelligence which comes into focus there are more than 1 billion users uh, globally at, uh, at around two th uh, 2000 and this was where web 2.0 was in practice later on we have web 3.0 and web 3.0 is nothing but it is near human intelligence so we call this as ai powered systems which run to assist users and this is a new development in the web technologies in the internet paradigm there is another term which is commonly used and we call this as semantic web semantic web is nothing but the extension of www the World Wide web through the World Wide web consortium so w3c which is called as the World Wide web consortium through it there is an extension of the world wide web and this semantic web is used to make internet data machine readable so the internet data becomes machine readable and therefore we call it semantic web semantic means understanding so machine can understand what is there on the internet and this is how we understand web semantic web now as we said web 1.0 was focusing on global literacy it is mainly the published content A web 2.0 is user generated content so we call it global publishing individuals have a capability to publish the content uh, companies like google and facebook have been monetizing data through it and web 3.0 is the global data bank where individuals can monetize their own content also blockchains and cryptocurrencies are the basis for it now if we talk about the evolution uh, this web 1.0 was mainly the green offshoots of e-commerce so netscape uh, was some of the good examples web 2.0 it is mainly social networking mobile first and cloud driven data so facebook airbnb are good examples and web 3.0 which is ai driven near human like intelligence and edge computing infrastructure so ethereum maker ocean are some of the good examples for each now if we talk about the apps for 2.2 versus web 3.0 uh, apps what are the difference from browser it is from chrome to brave from storage it is from google drive to storage and ipbf video calls from skype to experty operating systems from ios to essentialia and eos uh, social networking from facebook and twitter to stimite and aksha messaging from whatsapp to status and remote jobs from app to ethelance so those are some of the good examples of a switch between web 2.0 to 3.0 the basic idea is web 3.0 is near human intelligence so ai driven however web 2.0 is user generated content and web uh, 1.0 is the published content mainly and we have understood how uh, the development has taken place over the years the various developments not in the field of just internet but it is also in the field of browser storage video calls operating system social network working messaging and remote jobs as well so a very very important topic for your upcoming net examination we would be covering many more such interesting topics for you stay tuned for more updates from our side wish you very good luck for your upcoming examination stay tuned